Eartha White, I think, is one of the most significant leaders in Jacksonville's history. She did not start out in the beginning to become a leader. She started out to do as much help for other people as she could. And that, and that passion and that drive is what made her the leader that she became. So Eartha White founded uh, so many institutions and so many different services that it's hard to actually name them all. Of course, most famously, she founded the Clara White Mission and named it after her mother, Clara White, uh, who also played a role uh, in the community as someone to whom people turned for uh, their needs. Eartha White founded the Old Folks Home. That was one of her major first projects. She did a lot of other things, including founding a tuberculosis hospital a, uh, an orphanage, adoption services. She actually uh, worked behind the scenes on a number of political things, including voter registration drives, and um, she never separated herself from the people. It was her life's work to help. So she met presidents, she met governors, mayors, business leaders, but she lived with the people and she interacted with the people uh, daily. And in fact, apparently got very little sleep every night because she, she was never done. And there was always someone else who, uh, who needed. And she was always there to do everything she could to, to provide what she could for people. So the Clara White Mission is, uh, you know, I believe the oldest uh, humanitarian organization in the city. And, uh, and it's been around for more than a century, and it has such a uh, long and important lineage, going back really almost to uh, you know to, to the years right after slavery when uh, Clara White first started uh, helping people in her community. And I think that the Clara White mission is still, uh, you know, it's it's one of the strongest moral forces in, in the city of Jacksonville. It's been there for people who need it, whether for training, for food, for shelter, uh, for, uh, you know, since 1904. And, uh, and I, I think that it is as important, if not more important, in the city of Jacksonville now than it ever has been. Claire White Mission gives our students a, a second chance, basically. They come from all walks of life, some people are coming from out of prison, some are formerly homeless, some are veterans, some people are just down on their luck, some just want to try something new. Maybe they worked in a different arena and they want to try culinary. So our students come from everywhere and they have a lot of opportunities with Clara White just to advance themselves to the next level in their life, whatever that may be. I have a job now. Before, I didn't have a job. My life before Claire Wright Mission was very discouraging and it's like I had no direction. I didn't have the self-esteem I think to go on and they gave me a brighter look in life. Um, the mission itself, feeding the homeless, hands-on experience, um, to go further in life to uh, better education for myself and my family. And I couldn't do it if it wasn't for Claire Wright just giving me the push that I needed to go for them. Thank you, Claire White. Thank you. Thank you. The one thing about it is no one has ever chosen to be homeless. Uh, we're, we're, we're victims of some of our own circumstances at times. One of the things that I'm so passionate about is because my, myself, I myself have actually been homeless uh, at one particular time. You wouldn't look at it because of all the different things that I've been able to accomplish and things in life, but at one point in my life, I was there as well. Clara White is so important to Jacksonville uh, as a whole. It's one of the oldest agencies here that sort of feeds and homes and clothes the homeless. Uh, I think the, uh, Clara White is actually over 104 years of, uh, old. And one of the things I would tell you is that the history around Clara White, people need to go back and research the history. It's one reason why I chose the Clara White uh, agency to work with, because it has such rich history. Uh, the people that it helped, it's all walks of life. Uh, you walk inside there, it's not just uh, uh, transient people that come through Jacksonville, but it, these are doctors, these are attorneys, these are students, uh, these are uh, people that you would never ever believe that you may run across that because of circumstances in life uh, they have ended up uh, in a place like Clara White and 
The benefit of Clara White is that they reach out and help people. Uh, they give a provide and give a helping hand versus uh, just a handout. So these are one of the things with the different services that the Clara White missions provide. It's not just the, uh, the food and the clothes, but it's also a peace of mind. It's also an understanding of that I can still do great things uh, if I can just get a little bit of help. Uh, by looking at some of the work experiences that, that are provided there and helping people find great jobs, helping them with their resume, helping them with uh, just different avenues of life. Uh, because the people that you run across uh, is, is very touching. Uh, I would encourage everybody here uh, that can hear my voice to go out and spend time in Clara White Missions, whether you're just touring or whether you just want to help out and serve people, you would be touched for the rest of your life.